Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're going to be playing more of Bloodborne, and I'm pretty pumped because this game's great. I'm bad at a Souls game again, guys. Hooray! Now, um, if you don't know the channel you're watching right now, uh, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are completely blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their own pre-existing knowledge of gameplay, lore, characters, locations, or hints in any way. If you want to see more of what's happening on the channel, then type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all eight concurrent gameplay series going right now, including Bloodborne. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of 10. We're currently at zero. We have just reset that follower goal, so the next person to follow will tink break ground on that follower goal. The 22nd entry of the Twitch playbook is live right now. It is called Don't Be Afraid to Be Yourself on Twitch. And in this entry, I go through the idea that you should be uh, showing some of your authentic self on stream, if not as much of your authentic self as possible. So I go through three different um, anecdotes where I have allowed traits of my authentic self that I thought were even too embarrassing to show on stream to uh, appear and they became some of the largest aspects of this channel. So give that a look guys. If you do not know the Twitch playbook though, it is a free online resource I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. It's a podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized. And it's been coming out for the last 22 Fridays in a row without fail, so it's very consistent as well. If you want to find it for yourself, you can type exclamation mark playbook in the chat. You'll get a link directly to it, or you can just search the Twitch playbook on whichever podcast platform you like to listen on. Now let's jump into it, ladies and gents. Bloodborne time. Oh, crap. I'm going to skip that, although I'm not sure. <sighs> I don't know if it's a trailer or if it's more of like a opening video. Because in Demon Souls, they had a really cool opening video. And that was the other PS4. Ex you know what? We're going to watch it. Let's wait until this thing starts up again. We're going to watch it. How's everybody doing today? Welcome in. While well, we're waiting for this thing, I guess. Welcome in. A stitching to the stream. Welcome in Nick to the stream. Welcome Ben Frost to the stream. Welcome Space Dust to the stream. Are you guys ready to see me probably struggle against many enemies and also maybe a boss? Because I'm pretty sure we have to fight a boss now, too. I am ready. I'm ready to see myself struggle. Um, because it will certainly happen. Oh man, Bloodborne, what a game. Welcome in though guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, I am going to put that coffee command in here because I'm about to pour some coffee right now. Feel free to pour along at home. This is the, the Voice of Nick pour along. I'm going to tell you exactly when I pour the coffee so you can do it as well. Get your uh, coffee thermos in hand. And in three, two, one, pour! We're doing it. And stop. Perfectly done. I like this music. I wonder how long we would have to wait for this attract mode to come up. All right, if it doesn't come up in the next 20 seconds or so, we're gonna, gonna move on here, because I'd rather play the game. Stitchings is saying, I have a cat that keeps coming into my room and meowing. Nice. Oh, here we go. All right, guys. Send some hype in that chat.
Damn, that was a really cool video. I'm glad we watched that. And it wasn't too like, cause sometimes those kinds of videos will show you like every area of the game, you know, it's like a big like best of thing. That was really cool. And it showed you only enough to make you interested, <laughs> but not like revealing, you know, everything. Realm Legend Hazard, welcome to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Realm Legend Hazard joining the show. How are you doing today? Are you ready to watch me get struck down by monsters aplenty? Hello, lady. I don't have any blood echoes. But thanks for the offer. I'm gonna go to the first floor sick room this time. Damn, I'm excited though, guys. I'm like ecstatic about this game. Oh. The Souls series playthrough is one of the longest running on this channel. I don't know when the first episode of Demon Souls one, or Demon Souls was, but if you look at Demon Souls on the YouTube channel, the uh, the actual like format for the TV head and everything looks so archaic. All right, hold on. Here's the first episode of Demon Souls. Ready? <laughs> it was called Part One. Here goes nothing. This was. February 1st, February 15th, 2018. So that means we've been playing the Souls series for about, uh, what, like 17 months or so? That's pretty good. It would be uh, 16 months of, of Souls series playthrough. Good stuff, guys. And look at us now with a smaller TV head that actually connects my shoulders most of the time to the actual shoulders on the head. It took me so many episodes to figure out this like setup where my shoulders would kind of match up with the TV head shoulders. I wonder if I can go through this door now. This would be a really nice shortcut. Once we get this, whatever this is, this is gonna be a great shortcut. Central Yarnum. All right. It's interesting, I love that saw sword, so awesome. I would love to see some cosplays of this. Like if somebody has like one of, if somebody has one where it can like do this, that's probably really cool to see. This game, the entire thing is so, so ripe for cosplay. So you're saying I bet someone does? Yeah, there's gotta be somebody out there who does. All right, let's see if we can pull some of these guys over here. Right, we got two of them. Ah! So you saw Big Daddy from Bioshock at Otakon went nuts. Um, yeah, that would be an awesome cosplay. I've seen a little sister before. I don't think I've seen a Big Daddy. Bioshock's another one that has a lot of great opportunities for cosplay. Souls is a little bit harder to do cosplay for because for Souls, it's like you have to wear a big heavy piece of armor or something, you know? But Bloodborne is like, you know, these are all kind of like Victorian era costumes. Like there's a lot of human type, norm, more easier to lug around type costumes than, uh, than souls. Uh oh, is this guy getting up? Get him. We almost missed with that one. That was really close. Yowza. That was pretty effective right there. Sometimes you just gotta keep swinging, you know? Sometimes you just gotta keep swinging. Just keep swinging, just keep swinging. 
you know, in, in Finding Nemo, they're referencing an extremely graphic violence video game, right? That's what it was about. Did you see when he was cutting that demon dog apart and it was like, you could see the, the, like the, the guts? That was crazy in that cutscene. Also, my favorite part of Finding Nemo was when they cut the demon dog apart. Get him! Oh crap. Oh crap. Decision saying, when in doubt, keep your swinging arm out. I like that. So it takes us 2,000. Uh, oh crap! Soul is to level up now. So we're probably gonna want to. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. There's a dog. Die! Oh yeah, you go down there. We probably don't need to level up anymore until we beat the boss. Hello, sir. Oh, I wasted a thing. Dang it. So we, we can time this a lot better than we have been. I feel like I'm more on it today. Or maybe yesterday uh, we were just like practicing for this run, you know? Because yesterday I was just tripping up all the time. That's a one shot right there. We're not gonna be able to get to that dog before these guys show up though. Ah. See the problem is this guy who keeps shooting at us. Damn. That was a good hit right there. All right, I'm really playing uh, pretty inefficiently. But we got it in the end. All right, so now we are fighting the actual problematic thing, which is these two werewolves. How can I get them to not kill me? Ah! Ah! Use our gun. How is that? Doesn't seem to do that much. They are a werewolves. They're aware of your presence. They sure seem to be. Try and get him through that fence. This seems like a good spot actually, because he can't get to us, but we can sure get to him. Oh, we, he can get to us. He can get to us. He can get to us. Uh, remember when I said he couldn't get to us? He can. He totally can. Oh god. Oh, this is a bad situation. If I had to classify this, it would be not a good one. Whoa. Okay. That was close. That was a really rough thing that I just did. I shouldn't have done that. But we're, we're getting there. We're doing stuff. That's it. Okay, it, we wasted half of our blood vials getting it, but we got them. And very luckily they gave us six more blood vials. 
Oh man. Oh, stitching's full of the jokes today. It's a good day. Joking around, bloodborne. I'm having a good time. Let's see if we can get this boss, guys. Well, we have 2100. Honestly, we could go back. Let's fight this guy first. Oh, Jesus Christ! Did not see him. Wow. Frost Fairy, welcome to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Frost Fairy. Wow, that guy really scared me right there. Um, and welcome to the show, Frost. Oh, right, I forgot about these birds. Thank you for the host as well. Hello, bird. Are you gonna jump at me? Yep. Oh crap, he hit me. Oh, I wasted, I keep pressing triangle to try and, uh, to try and use the uh, other item. And instead I keep doing uh, uh, my, my health item. Which is not good. I'm sitting saying, Bird, can you move any slower? Yeah. Hey! Hello! Big hit. Uh oh. Yowza. Uh oh. That's not good. Ah! Crap! He comes in with those big hits. Oh! That was close. Oh man. Our attack is almost too slow to get that. Okay, good. Ugh. All right. So we're getting a lot of blood vials. This is saying you've heard free bird. Now you hear slow bird. I'd listen to it. If I ask. It's just if you play the record at like, uh, too slow of a, of a rate. And if you play it backwards, it says Paul is dead. Now, let's go kill the rest of these guys. I think we will do a... Uh, I will go back and get one more level up before we fight this guy, because even just getting to the boss, we get enough XP to level up, so obviously we should do it. And maybe next time we'll get an even better amount of uh, kills without dying or without wasting our items. See, this is deceptive because they're trying to to break your resolve here. They're trying to make it so that you feel trapped. Like, oh man, I can't go all the way back. I, I fought all these guys. I, I'll never do this this well again. Um, but if you do that, you're just gonna get, you know, pretty discouraged. The Souls developers are pretty, uh, I, I gotta, I would like to see, like, I'd like to be on a fly on the wall in the studio, you know, like, when they come up with all these situations. Damn, we got a lot of bullets. I should really be using the bullets more often. So I think I'm supposed to use the bullets as they attempt to attack. Like it's more of like a cancel, like a attack canceling action. Whoa! See if you just run at full speed, nobody can hit you. Wait, what was that? Who just said that? Who just said that? Did you hear that guy who was like on the right side saying something? There's nobody in this house. Show yourself, Nave. I want to say Nave more often, guys. Can you support me in my decision to use the phrase to use the word Nave? And the other one was uh, Pound Leather, which is in Red Dead, I guess, when you um, go really fast on your horse or something. Frost saying, I will. Thank you, Frost. Bringing back Nave. About 300 years too late.
Okay, so we have 2,700 uh, blood echoes. That's good. I like it. Let's head back. What's the going consensus on Rapscallion? Is that a... Is that a yes or a nay? Yay or a nay? Frosting, they say history repeats itself. That's true. We're bringing it back. Sitting so saying, as long as you support my really bad jokes. Well, if you start making really bad jokes, I will support them. But I like all of the jokes so far. Space is saying, yay! Well, all right, Rapscallion it is. I, um, because I read so much, like, uh, fantasy and historical fiction and stuff, whenever I see somebody on, like, you know, on the internet who, because the typing Y-E-A in modern sort of reckoning has become yeah. It's been pronounced as yeah, so a lot of people type yeah as Y-E-A. And then sometimes I read it and I, I read it as yay, as if somebody is say, speaking in, like, you know, medieval speak. It makes all uh, text conversations more interesting. <laughs> if you think about it as someone speaking with, in medieval speak. Physical defense, weapon attack. See, this ups your physical defense as well. I think I'll do stamina. Stamina is always kind of our go-to. So you can say I always put an H, H on the end of it. Yes, that's like the, that's like the technically cor correct. Um, y E A H is the way it's supposed to be spelled, but Y E A is like m accepted in modern you know times or whatever. So it's also correct. But um, yeah, I like I like thinking about it as yay being Y E A. Um, we can't do the sword yet. Yeah, this is all we can do. Um, yeah. Okay. Good. Good stuff. Now we can drink our coffee. Remember when we fought that werewolf guy at the beginning and he thrashed us? I wonder if I could have run past him because there was an open door in the opening. But we probably wouldn't have gotten a, a weapon. Yosefka's clinic. How about you, Nave? You rep scallion. Unfortunately, this episode I can't wear my pirate hat or my bloodborne hat, rather. But on other episodes, we will. Ah! Damn, he called me a plague-ridden rat. Northlight, welcome to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Northlight joining the show. We are playing Bloodborne. Welcome in. Hello, sir. So you saying, no you, sir. The ultimate comeback. Uh-oh. I'm not used to a sword being so slow to attack. Here we go. See, this is, I like the, the speed of, of this uh, version of the weapon. Let's see if I can get anybody. You. 
Sing Sing. Oh, come on, he was just trying to sleep. It's eternal sleep now. Well, last time he, he got up while I was I had my back turned, so he has no honor. That rapscallion. Rapscallion with a capital R. Mob waits ahead and beware of sniping. All true. Ah! We should probably try and do a run. We'll do one more instance of getting um, Blood Echoes and then we'll do a run to the boss because there's no point attempting to fight all the enemies if you're going to be fighting the boss. Damn, that sniper broke the boxes. Have at you! Okay, so we're currently doing like our rocky training montage to get to the uh, boss battle, and we're doing pretty well. I mean, the way we've been playing now compared to the way we've been playing at the beginning, definitely an improvement. Uh oh, except for that part. Give me those blood vials. See, I don't like that he does that, but you can just roll right after and cancel it, so that's good. So you can say, I feel like they're all about learning the tactics of the monsters. Yeah, definitely. It's like learning their attack patterns, and definitely that's like the big thing. And so that's what I care about, is like making sure that I understand it before I just like charge into an area. Hello. Come here. Oh, crap. Close enough. I'm getting free blood vials. Might as well be using them. I wonder if I'm going to max out my blood vial count. Of course, right when I use a blood vial, it doesn't give me a blood vial. <laughs> I thought it was going to give me another, so I was just using it to waste it. All right, that rapscallion. Hello, oh, he's coming for me. Oh no, he's not. Now he is. Nope, he's not. Come on! Get over here. I'm right here, there we go. Uh-oh. Okay, so that is canceling his attack and then we could do like a crazy combo on him so that's really really useful good stuff wow look how much faster we killed that guy oh crap that's it Look at that, ladies and gents. We're starting to understand Bloodborne. Who'd have thought? Wow. I can't believe how effectively we killed those guys. It's all thanks to the uh, Quicksilver bullets, by the way. These things are really, really useful. Send some hype for that one. I'm really proud of that, that uh, run right there. Chucks are thank you for the host. Stitching's thank you for the host. Oh, crap. It's the surprise guy. He's always hanging out there, and we always forget about him. Dr. Surprise. Wait, have we never seen this area? Stitching's getting that hype. Space Dust's getting that hype. Thank you, guys. What is this? I've never been here. Wondrous safe place. Uh-oh. How have I never been here? Uh-oh. Hello.
cold blood do? Nice. It's weird because the guys speak English, so you like understand their ravings. Okay, this door doesn't open from this side. I don't see, it looks like a tunnel down there. How did I not notice this? Is this a shortcut? Where am I? Hello? Oh no, this is we haven't been here because there's an item over there. Oh, there's more werewolves. What the heck? So we don't have to fight that boss. I thought this whole time that we had to fight the boss. Remember wheelchair and treat wheelchair with care. Oh, there he is! Christ! What? Why? What am I supposed to do? Oh my god. <sighs> Welcome Artin UEA to the stream. We're playing Bloodborne right now. And... I am greatly enjoying it. First time playing the game. I just knocked something over on my table by getting scared by that guy. Okay. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to Cathedral Ward, as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. Okay. Check this thing. I was not expecting the uh, wheelchair man to shoot you. Uh, hey, Artem, I'm not sure what you're doing there. The uh, the auto mod grabbed your uh, me most recent message. You're gonna just gonna get timed out for ten minutes. Uh, take a quick look at some of the various <laughs> various uh, 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 literature on the channel here while you're hanging out. I hope you enjoy the show. Now, we have... So I'm hoping that wasn't the actual guy, the actual wheelchair guy, because if it is, that makes me sad. I like wheelchair guy, he's a cool guy. Oh, there's a bloodstone, okay. Very nice. Okay. Oh! Oh my god, did we just get it? Did we get the shortcut? Oh my god, it's the thing. That's it. That's the, uh, the beginning. Oh my god, this is the central Yarnum spawn point. So we just opened a shortcut that goes directly down to where we are now. That's crazy. Send some hype for that, ladies and gents. Secrets, secrets all day. Chucks are getting that hype. Thank you, Chuckster. I can't believe it. We're progressing, guys. We're progressing in the game. Stitchings, thank you for the hype. Oh, man. All right, let's try and fight these wolf wolfmen. Oh, it's brick guys. All right, let's try and get brickmen then. Hello. Come over here. Space is getting the secrets. Frostbury getting that hype. Space is getting that hype. Thank you, guys. Damn. Slowly but surely, we're learning how to play Bloodborne. I'm very excited. This is like the most anticipated game of the playthrough because I've never played it before in any way. I'm really, really enjoying this. 
No, come over here. I don't think he wants to come upstairs. Whoa! Alright, that worked out pretty well. Blood Vial. Hey, Jay Minxel, welcome to the Meatball Marauders. Can we get some hype in that chat for Jay Minxel? Join in the fold. Welcome in. Don't forget to wave at your computer screens, ladies and gents. Jay Minxel, will take your 20 meatballs that you get for following this channel and use it to buy yourself your very own shortcut. It's basically just a hole that you cut in the wall of your house to go out of the house. You might call it a door, but the door is all the way over there. Now you have a shortcut. It's right where you are. So, um, problem solved. Uh, don't worry about all the things that can get into your house now because you cut a giant hole in it. Just worry about the fact that you can get out of your house so much quicker now. It's, it's very convenient. Enjoy your shortcut and enjoy your stay in the Meatball Marauders. You can type exclamation mark meatballs in the chat if you want to check your channel currency of meatballs. You can also see your channel ranking on there, which is based on the amount of meatballs you have in the little brackets. And you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll see a full list of all eight concurrent gameplay series going right now. The channel is called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over story or cutscene moments when they apply, but they are completely blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their own pre-existing knowledge of gameplay, lore, characters, locations, or hints in any way. Welcome on in to the channel. Now let's uh, jump into Bloodborne once again. Chrysanthem, welcome to the stream. Let's get an X-Mitch Mark High for Chrysanthem joining the show. We are playing Bloodborne, and we just discovered a shortcut. Hooray! Okay, here we go. Gonna jump into... Oh, hold on a second. Once again, my chatbot doesn't show it. Logistical one. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get some hype in that chat for logistical one? And can we get a shout out in there for logistical one as well? Join the show and bringing your community along with you. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your community with me. We are playing Bloodborne right now. It's my first time ever playing the game or even really seeing the game. I've like stayed away from everything about this, so I'm super excited. Um, we've done a, we've been doing a Soul Series playthrough. We just, uh, we just looked at when the first episode came out of our Soul Series playthrough. It was Demon Souls. Episode one was uh, 16 months ago. So we've been doing a Soul Series playthrough for 16 months. Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, and now Bloodborne uh, on here. I am so very much enjoying it. Uh, I'm excited because I'm bad at, at Souls again. Uh, <laughs> so uh, welcome in, Logistical One. How are you doing? What were you playing today? Days Gone. Oh, man, that game looks so cool. A lot of people have been raving about that game. I really want to play it. Um, logistical saying still like DS3. So I haven't gotten to DS3 yet, but I'm excited to play that as well. But... Um, the, uh, oh, you beat Bloodborne like two months ago. Nice, and it was your first playthrough. Very cool. Well, that is awesome. We can, uh, we can share stories once I, get, uh, once I get through it. You took 800 zombies out today? Damn. It's like Dead Rising. I really want to play that game. That's another PS4 joint that I got to get my hands on. That's really cool. I am glad that your show went so well, Logistical One, and thank you so much for bringing a community in here. Now, uh, anybody who doesn't know the channel, it is called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments when they apply, but I do request that no one utilize their own pre-existing knowledge of gameplay, lore, characters, locations, or hints in any way. If you want to see more of what happens on the channel, then type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all eight concurrent gameplay series going right now, including Bloodborne. Welcome in, everybody. I am excited. This game is really good. This game is as good as I wanted it to be, and more. Here we go. The whores are definitely a blast to take down. Also makes me swear a lot. Sweat a lot and swear. Well, that sounds like the, the makings of a good uh, game, especially if you're judging it by the standards of a Souls game. Sweating a lot and swearing a lot is, is, a, is the, uh, the mark of a good Souls game, I would say. Here we go. I don't want to go too close to this guy because I'm sure there's something else hiding out there. 
So we're going to wait for him to come over here, and then we're going to throw a pebble at him. Get him! Uh-oh. Never seen him do that one before. Uh-oh. Usually we can't get away from that move. Oh! We killed him with the gunshot. Good stuff. Logistical saying, I'm going to be busy for a bit. Definitely will be around. Good luck. Thank you uh, for the well wishes, and thank you so much for sharing your community with me. Are you uh, you saying you're going to head out to uh, Lurk, I guess? Or uh, just be busy in general? Either way, I hope your day goes fantastic. And thank you so much for sharing your community with me. Oh, lurk for a bit, okay. If you type exclamation mark lurk in the chat, you will find a wondrous room full of pasta that you can eat <laughs> to your heart's content. Um, and yeah, once again, can we get an exclamation mark by in the chat for logistical one who's not heading out of the stream, but is not also not heading out of our hearts. And we want you to know that we care. Have a fantastic, fantastic lurk. Thank you so much for sharing your community. I wanna break this, there we go, good stuff. Okay, I hear enemies, but I don't see any enemies. It makes me wonder if there's like enemies in these coffins, because every time I go near, a lot of coffins I go near, it sounds like there's something in it. Hear that? So maybe they'll like open later or something. <laughs> Logistical saying, nice. I want a, a room full of infinite pasta. It would probably make me look like Squidward in that one Spongebob episode, though, where he eats all the Krabby Patties. My thighs. Can I go through here? Whoa, inside the architecture here. Insider the actor studio. Look at that thing. It's all, it's just all mist inside of these buildings. They have a lot of smoke machines, fog machines. Aha! So now we can go directly through this room from here to here. That's pretty crazy. Damn, guys. All right, here we go. Bloodborne, the game. Oh man, this game's really good. There's nothing quite like the feeling of finding a shortcut in a Souls game. It's just a whole different experience. Oh look, there's animals in cages here. Interesting. How did we not discover this area? Oh god, here they come. Yep, here they come. Oh god. Get him already! Can't hit this guy. Damn it, I hate their dodge. Yes, yes, okay. Now get this guy. I don't care that you're stuck in a cage. I don't care that it's not fair. I'm not letting you kill me. I swear, these dogs, if, if I miss like a couple more times than I have been, I could probably get killed from 100% health just by these dogs. They are effective killers. Okay, now that we're back to normal, hopefully, I shall go up the staircase. Oh, oh, this is the area. This is where we could have jumped down before. We got a cold blood dew. Everything's coming together, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is coming together. This is great. This is very good. Reeks of communion. not 
gonna kill me. Beware of beasts. Blood Echoes waits ahead. Time for pincer attacks. Oh crap. He can attack faster than I can. All right, we got some cold blood due. And I think cold blood gave us 300, so I'm gonna guess we have about six. So that's what, six times three is 18. We could probably get another level up out of this. Pincer attack, so. What's he barking at? Oh, he's barking at that door. Look, that's a door we can talk at. Interesting. Oh, you know what? I bet they were saying it was a pincer attack because, uh, uh oh, because we, uh oh, because we could end up uh, missing this dog back here, and then we would get, he would get us from the front and the back. Oh. You're a hunter. Yeah. Well, do you know of any safe place? Our bird I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if he wants to stop your arses, he wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what, Nebesh? Are you going to tell me you're not? Eh. The only option is no. Yeah, I should have known. You're good for nothing. No respect for the elderly is what that is. That little good you outsiders do. Go on. Admit it. You think we're all mad, don't you? Well, go and stop it! I know all your tricks. So I guess there will eventually be a safe place that we find, and then we could tell her about it. There was that one person who made a, a note on the ground that said, like, nice, nice safe place, but it couldn't be that because we already found that area. Wait, what just happened? Wondrous treasure, and remember man beast. Oh god. Friend waits ahead, therefore time for hidden path. Oh. I wonder if you can get to this, because these stairs are going to go lower than that thing. Let's see what's down the stairs first. Oh, hello. This is a new guy. We haven't seen him. What is that item he has? Whoa! Big hit! What even is that? Holy crap. I don't know what that is. Beast waits ahead. It's basically saying saw. Oh yeah, maybe it's like one of those saws used on a tree. Like that two people would hold. I was also saying what is that in the sense of like what is this monster too? I have a lot of questions. Look at this guy's got like a like a icicle.
Oh crap. Yowza! That's no good. I don't know how to get... I think you have to get behind him or you have to do your special attack thing on him. Oh crap! I'm gonna get killed by this. Hold on, get out of there. There we go. Just kill him with that thing. Holy jeez. That was a bunch of big hits. Okay, yeah. Up there is where the rafters go. Is this a contraption? Can I use it? Oh god. Oh, there's a sniper. Okay. Well, we don't want to run straight towards him because we know there's obviously going to be enemies who attack us if we do. Or maybe that beast was the enemy that would attack you if you did. Hello. I hear a dog or something. Maybe he's downstairs. It sounds like some many-legged creature is out there. Oh yeah, it is a saw. You're right. Good call. Can I go through the wall? Yeah! Yeah, oh. He can also get me with that. Huh. <sighs> I feel like this is going to drop. This thing is going to break if we stand on it. It doesn't really matter though because we don't need to stand on it. It's not like it gets us anywhere. Yeah, these just go across, but we already have been across. So we have 3,300 blood echoes right now. Plus roughly six cold blood dews. It's a lot of good stuff. Doesn't it feel good when all of the boxes are broken? And then you also know that there's no items hidden inside of them. But it's really just the rolling through of the boxes <laughs> that feels best. Okay, here we go, ready? There's a bunch of items here. That's good. Oh crap, there's a whole nother area over here. Okay, hold on. Can I do this without dying? View Spectre. How did you die? Oh, he just tried to attack. Oh, so that's, okay. Let's do the test here. That's it. We gotta do a sideways, which is the uh, strong attack. Good thing that Spectre was there. Stitchings, You're gonna take the dog out for the last time tonight. Enjoy your lurk stitchings, enjoy your uh, walk, and can we get a exclamation mark by for stitchings who's not heading out of the stream, but is also 
not heading out of our hearts. Enjoy your lurk stitchings. My guy is very bloody here. Record set for most blood on him so far. Damn, this guy is a little too far away. That's it. So what's in here? This looks like a shortcut, possibly. Because this looks like it's going back to the other area. Friend waits ahead. Cool, it's like a plague doctor. Send oh. some hearts. A hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights, here, to welcome the new hunter. Bold hunter's mark. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh hungry beasts now. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. Shake off cape? Oh, that's an emo, I guess. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. What are you... Let's see what this new uh, thing we got is. Bold Hunter's Mark. Awaken anew without losing blood echoes. Dangling upside down rune etched in the mind of a hunter. The image upon this parchment allows one to envision the rune with clarity. Allows a hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes. A trick that seems nearly too good to be true. Space Dust, Venfrost, thank you for the hearts. Oh, uh, Otto, make sure you don't say, I'm, I'm going to post this in here, uh, anything that's informed by your own uh, knowledge of the game. So, for example, there's no way for us to have known what this character's name was, or whether or not it's a girl, or whether or not she's any good of a girl. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it uh, the, uh, the stuff that we like to avoid on here is not just, like, significant story info, but rather literally all info. And welcome Otto to the show. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Otto? Join in the stream. I wonder how we can get down now. Hold on. I guess I could jump down to this. This might get me killed though. Oh, maybe they gave us this item so that we can do it right now. Um, yeah, I don't really wanna experiment by jumping down to see how much fall damage we take because um, I wanna level up using these souls. 
Well, let's try that. We'll try this new item. What a ah. Do I wish to reawaken? Um, yeah, I guess. So, I think we want to go back to this area w at least one more time. Yeah, because I can still jump down, and I think there was also an area to go farther than it. So there's more stuff to do. For sure. Now, we could just go to the Hunter's Dream right now. There we go. So, what does it cost? 2300. So that means, how many of these do I have? Blood things. Oh, I only have four, and then I have, oh no, no, wait. Colba do one, Colba do three. Oh, that's a weird way to phrase that. So they don't come up with new names? What a weird thing. So this is a different amount of cold blood dew, or is it? I don't know. How much does this one give us? 350, and then this other one gives us 1,000. So this is equivalent to like uh, soul of a lost soldier or whatever versus like soul of a great warrior. But why would they have the same name? It's just one and three, That's so it feels like uncreative. Almighty Death Slayer, welcome to the stream. Finished God of War and Spider-Man. Oh man. Yeah, those games were incredible. Good stuff. Glad you enjoyed them. Alright, I'm guessing we're gonna need roughly like 6,000. Let's see if this does it. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna... Oh, we got it. Okay. Nice. Good stuff. Do we want this then? Yeah, I, I think that's good. Oh, so this also ups our physical defense. Dragon Wolf, welcome to the stream. It's getting an exclamation mark high for Dragon Wolf. They're saying a lot of games are like that. They reuse characters and items throughout each level. Well, I'm aware of the <laughs> the paradigm, but uh, I, what I'm saying is that in Dark Souls, they do it better than this. In Dark Souls, they do not reuse the name. And it's also not reusing the item. They're just literally using the same name and they number it. Like, it's very uncreative. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm aware of the concept, though. Level 25 Magikarp, welcome to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for level 25 Magikarp. Welcome to the show. Uh, for uh, level 25, or for anybody joining the show, I'm gonna post the uh, played command, which uh, tells you a little bit about how we do the uh, gameplay series on here. Um, so the way we do it is that we request that no one mention anything that utilizes any of their pre-existing knowledge of the game which includes uh, knowledge of characters, lore, locations, hints, or story of all kinds. Welcome Jenny Nexus to the stream as well. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Jenny Nexus? We are playing Bloodborne, and I am greatly enjoying it. Okay, so we got down to 39 souls. Oh, did we actually max out our pebble count so that we can't even buy? We have 99 and 20, so I definitely need to get some more. I need to use my pebbles more often. I am not taking full advantage of my uh, my pebble count. Odessa is gonna move on to Horizon, nice. Getting the PS4. Yeah, you seem like you've been putting in some work on that PS4, good stuff. Definitely a lot of uh, amazing stuff to get through. What is it, like six years of games to get through? 
Yeah, P 2013 was the PS4, right? Oh, let's see if this lady has anything to say. Yusefka? You are safe, thank goodness. But I'm afraid nothing will change my mind. I cannot open the door. Please, try to understand my position. I pray for your safety. Ben Frost saying, want to do Kingdom Hearts, but you got to go through the entire series, or you want to go through it? It's, um, for Kingdom Hearts, here's my recommendation. It is one of two options. You either play only Kingdom Hearts 3, or you play all 12 games. Because you can't just play Kingdom Hearts, what I re really recommend you don't do is play Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, 3. If you do that, you might as well not have played any of them, in my opinion. Because you, you won't understand what's going on at all. Um, so yeah, anyway. I, I think it's definitely worth uh, playing all of them though, if you, uh, if you feel up to it. Because they're all great games. Okay, here we go. My phone's having a hard time actually displaying the stream. Hold on a sec, ladies and gents. Let me take a quick uh, look at this here. That's what I was saying came out November 14th, 2013. Yeah, the uh, the uh, Xbox One came out in 2013 as well. I still remember the exact date that the PS3 came out because I was there waiting for 48 hours at a Target to get one. It was November 17th, 2007. I did not wait outside to get a PS4. I didn't even have a PS4 uh, or an Xbox One uh, until pretty far after they came out. Damn, yeah, my phone is just like not interested in showing me what the stream looks like. Thanks, internet. Oh, well, luckily the stream works. Um, I think that at the time that PS4 came out, I, the game I was most jealous of was Bloodborne. Like this, I was thinking about buying a PS4 just for this game. Because the reason I bought Xbox One was to play uh, Dead Rising 3. And uh, I, I used to call it my $560 Dead Rising 3 machine. <laughs> because I, I only bought one game on it because I had every other available game on PC. <laughs> and uh, Dead Rising 3 was a great game. I don't know if I should have bought it that early just to play it though, especially because it eventually came out on PC. <laughs> but yeah, if I had bought a PS4, it would be a $460 Bloodborne machine for a while. There are worse reasons to buy a console, I suppose. So, ooh, small hair ornament. I wonder if that's a thing. Would that be like a hat that I would wear? Interesting. So we can go this way, and this will bring us back to where we were trying to go. Oh, hello. Away! Away! Ah, crap. He always gets me with that second, like he does the second lean in with the torch. It always gets me. So down here is what? What was down here? Oh, this was where the, uh, okay. This was where that uh, area was that we were in most recently, where we teleported back from. And then this is where the guy in the wheelchair is. That's where we came from. So up there leads back to like the main level sort of. And then through here is what? What goes through here? This goes upstairs, which does what? Oh yeah, yeah, this is where the item was, yep. 
Okay. We're painting a picture in our heads. Okay. And this goes to that area as well. So we want to, number one, kill these guys one at a time. For sure. Is this guy still here or is he like a one-off guy? Oh no, he's still here. I really hope that's not the wheelchair guy. I hope that's just a guy who happens to be in a wheelchair. Hello. You got anything for me? You got a delivery? Come over here. Aha! Oh crap. Damn it, I missed my opportunity. Aha! So I need to get behind him if I'm gonna do um, like a backstab type thing, but it's still really effective if I just interrupt his attack. It seems like you have to get it at like the apex of the attack. Ready? Like that. Oh, but I missed. That's it. Damn! That's so effective. There's nothing in Souls that's like that. Damn. Deathslayer got the complete edition of Kingdom Hearts 3, up to 3, and then got 3. So you're going to do those last because there's 7 of them? Yeah, definitely uh, it's a good, uh, it's a great game uh, play series. The uh, So which edition of Kingdom Hearts did you get? Because... Uh, there's a few of them now. There are a lot of them that released. There's like another one that released when 3 came out, I guess. I I don't even know. Yeah, there's a lot of games in that series. There's the one that's called the 1.5 and 2.5 HD collection. There's the one that's called The Story So Far, I think. There's one that's called like the story so far, and then there's another one that's basically the same thing, but then it also has three in it. They ha they have so many games. I guess they just do a lot of re-releases, uh, or you know, remaster collections. Oh, okay, so this leads us back to here. I get it now. The story so far, nice. Oh, I get it. Yeah, so it's like all the games and then plus three. And there's one thing that I would recommend you watch as well, which is uh, the um, Union Cross. It's the only thing that's not included because it's a cell phone game, or it's like a, uh, it's like a, uh, I, you know, smartphone video game. But you can watch the cutscene collection online. Yeah, Death Star saying it's all the games up to three. Right, because it they did the story so far, which had every game up to three, and then you had to buy three separately. But then when three came out, they released another edition that was called something else, and it had three like included. I don't remember what that one was called, though. Wait, what the heck is this? We've never been here. Oh, jeez. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's not currently operable. Interesting. Oh, you didn't see that one? It, well, I, I don't think it. I don't think you're missing out on it. They're the same thing, and I'm pretty sure that it would have, you know, cost the same amount of money either way. I don't think it was like sixty dollars for all of them and three. But um, yeah, I it was confusing for me for a while because I was like, wait, which one am I supposed to get? I, I think this is the way we have to go. Then I'm not sure. I thought that was the way. Oh yeah, this is right. This is where all the dogs were. Okay. Hello dogs. Don't hit me. So a lot of them I think will not break out of their cages. I think that they... They are fixed creatures. They're done. Hey, Biker Trash Babe! Been a long time. Wanted to send some love. Dealing with a lot. Can we get some hearts for Biker Trash Babe? Can we get an exclamation mark? Hi. Good to see you. Thank you so much for the love. And welcome into the show. We are playing 
Bloodborne. Thank you so much for the cheer. That is 500 cheer on there. Let's get a cheer message on here and let's get a brand new voice of Nick voice. How about this one? My name is Bricklayer Sammy. I have a brick in one hand and I like to shove it in people's faces. But sometimes my brick turns into a dove and then I let it fly and it, it flutters out into the sky like a beautiful, well, like a beautiful dove. I don't have much power for, uh, for writing or similes or anything. I just say the thing that it is. I, it flies out in the air like a beautiful dove, and then people say, what the heck, you're throwing bricks off this building, mate? And then I say, no, it's a dove. It turned into a dove. And anyway, that's how I landed in this mental asylum. I got a straight jacket on right now and I can't hold my brick anymore. That's uh, Bricklayer Sammy. He's, um, <laughs> he's the guy from Bloodborne who holds that brick and he smashes it in your face. Bricklayer Sammy. Good stuff. Thank you so much to Biker Trash Babe for the cheer. It is so highly appreciated. Uh, anybody who cheers over 10 on the channel gets a Voice of Nick voice straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who donates or cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new Voice of Nick voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, 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 verse. Welcome, uh, rather, thank you so much, Biker, uh, for the cheer and welcome into the stream. Can we get ourselves a cheerleader board readout? I think we can. Now, in third place, Decap Bossman with 300 cheer. There's a purple level cheer. Thank you to Decap Bossman. Second place is Biker Trash Babe now with 500 cheer. Coming straight up into the cheer leaderboards in that second place spot with uh, a purple level cheer. Thank you to Biker Trash Babe. And first place is Gaming Hour with 1,534 cheer. That is a teal level cheer. Thank you to Gaming Hour. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is so highly appreciated. Uh, now let's jump into Bloodborne. Chuck's is saying, we've missed you, Biker Trash, babe. Yes, we have. How are you doing? We want to hear everything. Dragon Ball saying, Bricklayer saying, sounds like a name for a new sandwich. Yes, that'll be it when they do like the deli, you know, and like if we ever get like famous enough where the deli names the sandwich after us, we're going to call it the Bricklayer Sammy. Oh, man, my phone will not show me the stream. It is like doing all sorts of stuff. Now it says like the stream has gone offline. That's weird. Kazarni, welcome to the stream. I love this game. Yeah, me too. I, I am uh, playing this for the first time. I've never even laid a hand on a controller before uh, before doing this gameplay series. Like, never laid a hand on a controller that was playing Bloodborne. Uh, never seen gameplay of it. Like, very, very strictly stayed away from everything. So, I'm really enjoying, like, you know, when I play a Dark Souls game or Demon Souls, it's like you know how to play it just because you've played a Souls game before. But when I play this game, it's like I'm very excited that I am bad at a Souls game. <laughs> like, I don't, I just don't know how to play it. And that's very exciting to me. Um, so anyway, I am adoring this game. We're only like five hours in or so. Because I'm saying that was me. <laughs> it's like, it's pretty thrilling, right? And uh, so the... Uh, the same thing, I, I assume that's how it feels for people when they play, uh, when they play Sekiro. Where it's just like, oh, this is like totally new. But hold on, let's, uh, let's talk to this lady. Can we get an exclamation mark high, by the way, for Kazarni? Actually, I can do that as well. Need Sekiro? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'll probably do that at the end of the, like, Souls playthrough thing. So what is it now? A much better way to pass the time. In there. You found me a nice, safe place. Nope. Yeah, I should have known. You're good for nothing. Go on. Deathslayer, do you think you'll play Sekiro? Oh, absolutely. I am definitely um, looking forward to that. Gary saying when you play Sekiro, it's like, what WTF do I do? <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I mean. It, there's it's such a unique um, kind of like gameplay philosophy that they have from software I mean where it's like all their games are like uh, based on the idea of like not telling you where to go not telling you what kind of weapon to use like how to how to play in most of the ways that most games do tell you it's a very sort of like trusting 
uh, design philosophy. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, right, this guy with the saw. I forgot about you. Hello. So let's see if we can do this counter thing that we've been trying to do. Okay, we sort of got him with that. Uh-oh. That's no good. So I gotta time this better. Damn. So I'm getting it, but too late. It's interesting that I can still do it even if he hits me in the process. Biker saying, too much to type. Uh, been helping someone with dementia. My laptop went to crap. Had some moles removed. One, oh no. Can we get some hearts in there for Biker Trash Babe? Going through a lot of stuff. Biker Trash, we love you. And it's really good to hear from you and see you. Um, I'm gonna get some hearts in that chat as well. I, I keep forgetting, because we play so many PC games where I can't alt-tab out of the game to send uh, hearts, I keep forgetting that I can actually just type on the on the second monitor. Okay, wait. Yep, yeah, that's it. Get it, yes! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oil urn. Hello. So what was the thing I was trying to do? We could go down there, but I'd rather not jump down. I'd rather go down. I need a fix cause I'm going down. Is there anything over here? There's this one hallway but I don't think it leads anywhere. Oh crap! Forgot about you. Hello. Alright, let's try this counter again. Ready, one, two, three, go! That's it. But then my distance from him is too far. Like, I almost have to be not at range distance, even though I'm using a ranged weapon when I do that counter thing. Because it's, I mean, it's not a game about ranged combat. It, it seems like you're really supposed to be up close. Ooh, ladders. I always like a ladder when I see one. Hello, sir. Because I think it's a visceral game. Yeah, for sure. Oh, crap. Did I just get stuck? No, Bloodborne guy! Get out of there! You can do it. You can do it. It's definitely a visceral game, especially when you're stuck between boxes. Because I think this game has the best ladders in the business. <laughs> Sounds like you're a Bloodborne salesman. Look at these ladders. These are the best ladders you're ever going to see. Oh, crap. Yowza. I've taken to saying yowza a lot. We're gonna add that to Rapscallion as one of my catchphrases. Have at you, knave! Frosting, is it bad? I've never had Ben & Jerry's ice cream until now. You know, I was saying that too, that I don't think I've like necessarily had Ben & Jerry's ice cream. I'm, I think I've gone to a Ben & Jerry's, but I've never like purchased Ben & Jerry's uh, uh, like a tub of it. And there's so many flavors. There's, I believe, 31 of them. I should really get on that. I need to be introduced to the wonderful world of Ben and Jerry's. I just introduced someone to the wonderful world of Taco Bell the other day. They experienced the magic. Oh, because I already saying there are hundreds of flavors. Oh, I did not get that right then. I was way off. I thought it was 31, because the logo, it's like, the, um, oh no, I'm thinking of Baskin Robbins. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's the B and the R, and it makes a 31, okay. Or am I thinking, I don't know. Anyway. Biker popped in to say hi. Oh no, your toilet tank broke. Oh man, can we get some more uh, hearts in there and some hugs in there for Biker? I'm gonna get a hug in there as well. 
Because I'm saying even Baskin has like 100. What is happening? All these ice cream companies, they, they all asked if they could, but they never asked if they should. Yes, they should. That's the answer, is that yes, they should, actually. Ooh, that was a good hug, too. Silvando jumps in. The voice of Nick hugs Biker Trash Babe. Silvando jumps in and strikes a pose. Wonderful, darling. That's a good one. Because I was a Dairy Queen kind of guy. They never had Dairy Queen in, in uh, New Jersey where I lived, so I never really had it. They like added one and then everybody was going there. That and Sonic, it was like mobbed. Yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty crazy. Because I was saying it's mega in the south. Yeah, I guess that's, uh, I guess it's one of those things, you know? Because in, in New Jersey, they have like a million Dunkin' Donuts restaurants. It's like Dunkin' Donuts is on every, you know, street corner basically uh and in la they never had dunkin donuts and you know la is like you're kind of like okay they they have some degree of like everything you know everything's here but they didn't have dunkin donuts and so they j like two years ago or so the first dunkin donuts opened in la and it was like lines two hour lines like it looked like soviet russia people standing out outside like the restaurant in a giant line waiting to get Dunkin' Donuts. Like a one dollar donut. Not that Dunkin' Donuts isn't great, but like, it's not the kind of thing you wait two hours to get. Um, so yeah, I guess it goes to show that like, scarcity will do a lot for a place. So many boxes to break. Hello. Aha, give me that. Because I was thinking those people must have moved and needed their fix. Well, that could be it too. I was thinking it was like everybody who has never had it before was like, oh, I gotta try this thing, like Dunkin' Donuts, what is this? Because when like Sonic opened in New Jersey, it was on the highway and there were lines out of the restaurant, like, you know, out of like the drive through area, out of the, entire turn off to the highway blocking the right like lane of the highway stopped on the highway because there's so many people trying to get into the sonic for or for like two hours or whatever like same kind of thing and that was an instance where it was just like it was like the new thing like everybody wanted to try it um so there's some weird weird stuff with that um now guys we i gotta call it a show because i actually have to head out of here but we are going to raid at the end of this. So let's get a raid message in that chat and make sure you copy down that raid message you see right there, ladies and gents. It says, Meatball Marauders are here to party. And if you copy that down and then paste it into the chat, give it a shot. Do it right in this chat here. You'll see it shows up as your username color. So we like to go into the raid with a big old raiding party of different multicolored raiders. Um, Let's do that, guys. But first, real quick, if you don't know the channel, it is called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are completely blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their own pre-existing knowledge of gameplay, lore, characters, locations, or hints in any way. If you want to see more of what happens on the channel, then type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all eight concurrent gameplay series going right now, including Bloodborne. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of 10. We're currently at one. So we have, tink, broken ground on that follower goal. The 22nd entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now as well. Uh, it is called, Don't Be Afraid to Be Yourself on Stream. And in this one, I actually go through three different case studies of things on stream where I, I never thought I would reveal these like aspects of my personal character on stream, either things about the way I play games that I thought were embarrassing or boring, or things about the way that I just act in normal life that I thought I would never reveal on stream. Anyway, those things, three case studies of those things coming out and becoming some of the biggest aspects of this channel. So hopefully that'll inspire you guys to uh, bring out some of your own personality traits on stream. Now, if you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free online resource that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. It's a podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. 
Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized. And it's been coming out for the last 22 Fridays in a row without fail, so it's very consistent as well. If you want to find it for yourself, you can type exclamation mark playbook in the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Or you can just search the Twitch playbook on whichever podcast platform you like to listen on. Now, if you like the channel and you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emote, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames, and add free streams. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have nobody. On the cheer leaderboards, though, we have in third place, Decap Bossman with 300 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Decap Bossman. Second place is Biker Trash Babe with 500 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Biker Trash Babe. And first place is Gaming Hour with 1,534 cheer. That is a teal level cheer. Thank you to Gaming Hour. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is so highly appreciated. You are directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels, whether it is the Twitch streams you see in front of you, whether it is acquiring and setting up new games, tweaking Streamlabs or NickBot or OBS or any of the stuff behind the scenes that makes these shows tick, whether it is creating and posting content for the social channels like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, whether it is improving the Discord, whether it's updating the wiki, whether it is writing, recording, posting all the Twitch playbook entries, all of that stuff that I mentioned, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. Uh, now, let's see if we can find somebody who's uh, playing a video game. The way we do raids on this channel, if you don't know, we always raid someone who's playing a previous game in our playthrough series. So as not to see any info about games that we're currently playing, or any games that we plan on playing in the future. So let's take a, a quick look around the internet at what is being played. Ooh, we got some Witcher 3 streams on there. Eventually we'll be able to join those in like a few dozen months. I don't know, I, I am not necessarily looking forward to Witcher 3 being done, so let's just not think about that game ever being over. It'll go on forever, hooray! Um, there's a lot of good games being played right now. Let's take a quick look at uh, some of these ones that we have done previously. Because I'm saying Witcher 3 is killing me, it's so long, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, Witcher 1 and 2, um, you know, because we do this thing where we, like, play eight concurrent games and then we switch off every time we go live, even though I go live three times a day, it's still, you know, it still takes a long time to get through one if it's, like, a, you know, pretty long video game. So, um, I think the, the official stat on Witcher 1 and 2, those games took us about seven months to get through, and I think Witcher 3 is multiple times longer than both of those put together so I don't know what that's gonna mean <laughs> but uh, either way definitely definitely uh, excited to be playing it it's so good it is really really good ooh we got a couple of people playing some good games on here let's take a quick look at this one. Oh, cool so we're gonna say hi to I thought so at least we were gonna say hi to somebody, but they just hosted someone. Um, oh, how about this one? Let's say hi to RP Genius, who is right now playing Final Fantasy VI six. I don't know Roman numerals. It is Final Fantasy six. Uh, let's say hi to RP Genius. RP Genius, really entertaining streamer, doing a lot of, uh, as you might imagine, RPGs, um, as well as a lot of um, uh, uh, retro stuff. So let's all join that, guys, and let's enjoy the final fantastic fantasy fantasiatic action. I don't know the, I, I was trying to turn it into an adjective. Anyway, that's gonna be it, guys. We have one more video game stream coming up later today, and uh, that's gonna be much later. But until then, everybody, enjoy RP Genius's show, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.